So I can't really sleep tonight, so just to continue my Prime Minister series. So we've got up to the 15th Prime Minister uh, coming into the 19th century. That was Henry Addington, 1st Viscount Sidmouth. Um, he's often simply known as Henry Addington. Um, Henry Addington was born on May 1757 at Holborn in London. Um, and he was in office from 1801 to 1804, um, just between the two terms of uh, William Pitt the Younger. Um, he's notable as being arguably the first middle class prime minister. Um, and among some of the notable things that occurred during his tenure, bear in mind this was in the absolute midst of the Napoleonic Wars, um, one of his major acts, uh, or one of the major events in his tenure was the Treaty of Amiens in 1802, which was considered an unfavourable peace with France. And when that broke down, the war resumed, but uh, Britain was therefore without allies, and uh, as such, Addington was conducting a relatively weak defensive war. Um, he's also known for later on being Home Secretary during the Premiership of Lord Liverpool, and being a somewhat ruthless Home Secretary, it was during his tenure that the notorious Peterloo massacre occurred in Manchester. Um, so, some more information about um, Henry Addington. He was a doctor by trade. Um, in fact, it is said that he had been a personal doctor to uh, to King George III during his bouts of insanity. Um, and in 1802 he accepted an honorary position as Vice President for Life uh, on the Court of Governors of London's Founding Hospital for Abandoned, ba abandoned Babies. Um, he was a Tory, um, and some other interesting details was that he was uh, the son of the elder Pitt, Pitt the Elder's physician Anthony Addington. Um, so I'm going to read directly from the... 10th Downing Street page here. This is a quote that's attributed to Henry Addington. In youth, the absence of pleasure is pain. In old age, the absence of pain is pleasure. Born in London, Addington was the son of a middle class doctor. He served as Speaker of the House of Commons from 1789 to 1801. Actually, in other accounts, I've heard that he was personally a doctor, but I guess he was the son of a doctor. But he is notable as Britain's first uh, middle class Prime Minister. In 1801, Addington became Prime Minister when King George III rejected William Pitt the Younger's Emancipation of Catholics Bill, forcing his resignation. He enjoyed royal favour because, as a doctor, he had treated George III during one of his bouts of mental illness, so it appeared he had followed his father's uh, steps. Um, his ministry was most notable for the negotiation of the Treaty of Amiens in 1802, in which the government agreed to an unfavourable peace with France, it quickly broke down and Addington could not persuade William Pitt the Younger to support him as war loomed on the continent. With Napoleon's forces readying themselves for an invasion of Britain, Addington resigned. And that's when William Pitt the Younger came in again. A notably poor orator, Addington continued to serve under Pitt and was later elevated to the House of Lords as Viscount Sidmouth. He went on to hold office in the governments of Grenfell and Lord Liverpool. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to whether he was known as Viscount Sidmouth during his time as Prime Minister or if that's a title that was bestowed on him later on. So for now we will come refer to him simply as Henry Addington. Um, he had later ministerial roles including Lord President and Lord Privy Seal in the Premiership of William Grenville um, and of course he was Home Secretary during Lord Liverpool. Um, finally he died in 1844 in London at the age of um, at the age of 86 which was old by the standards of the time very old by the standards of the time so that is Henry Addington Viscount Sidmouth